Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about this little pouch I got from Timu, which is pretty interesting. Um, when I first heard about Timu and I saw these ads and stuff online, when I went to check it out, the very first thing I looked for were EDC items. And uh, I found a ton of crap, you know, things like this, little pocket organizers, they have a, a few different ones there. Um, obviously different types of uh, knives. As far as the knives go, I mean, I might try out some of the literally sub $1 knives they have to offer, but there's a lot of counterfeits on there. I can't support that. I mean, they have like some Kershaw models that are fake for like $12, you know, just get the real thing. Um, you know, they have a Microtech on there, at least one that I saw, two or three Benchmades, you know, they're all fake. They look like the same design, same shapes and sizes and stuff, but obviously the uh, performance is not going to be quite the same. I wouldn't expect it. Um, so for the most part, I'm kind of staying away from knives. Um, although I did get one knife you saw in the first video, well, two knives actually, a little Kiridashi and a little folder. But anyway, we'll talk about that down the road. Um, you know, flashlights, there's a lot of interesting off-brand flashlights on there, you know, but EDC stuff was my first goal. Hey, can I get a bunch of EDC stuff super cheap to try out? And, uh, this is the first thing I've actually, uh, you know, tried, carried, and loved. This is a little pouch. It's an EDC organizer. It is from a, there's a tag in here. The brand is, uh, K-O-S-I-B-A-T-E, uh, Kasabate. Maybe Kosabate, uh, Kasabate, Kasabiti. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but guess what? I looked on Amazon, and the exact same thing is on Amazon, as well as some different, um, you know, setups, slightly different shapes and things. Um, on Amazon, this exact same model is ten dollars and ninety nine cents. I paid a dollar ninety eight. So that is, again, where the advantage is on these Chinese websites, buying direct as opposed to someone else who bought it from the Chinese websites and is now selling it on Amazon. So yeah, the Amazon prices will almost always be higher. Not every single time. There was one particular item that I got that was cheaper technically on Amazon. But, uh, but yeah, that's the whole, the drive. That's why people are shopping on, on sites like Timu because they're getting things so dirt cheap. They're buying it direct. So, you know, if you get something from China, and an American company has it now, and they're selling it, they got to make money, right? So the more hands it passes, the higher the price gets. That works across the board, right? With manufacturing and selling things. So yeah, I mean, for $10.99, would I be as interested in it? And maybe. It's a, it's a cool design. If you like the design, sure, that's fine. Uh, that's about the max price, though. I think something like this should be like, you know, six or seven bucks. But for $2, for under $2, that's a huge win. I think it's fantastic for under $2. So I have it loaded up with some gear uh, that I carried and it works out great. I like it. It's an interesting design. I don't have anything quite like it. So there's two pouches on the front, excuse me, two pockets on the front and a larger pocket on the back. Um, and here I have a Phoenix flashlight that I just got as well as a Victorinox that I just got. So I have my little multi-tool uh, as well as a flashlight on the front section on the back. You can see that I do have a Fisher Bullet Space Pen. All right, fantastic little pen if you haven't seen these before. Absolutely love these. I mean, I have these in almost all my pocket organizers. They're literally my favorite go-to. So besides like maybe some pocket pens and, and some other ones, but uh, I've tried different things in this pocket. The issue is once you look from a top angle, you start putting fatter things in here, then the whole thing becomes like a cylinder. You know what I mean? It starts off flat and everything's great, but obviously you start, you know, adding bulk to it and it gets to be this big fat thing. So this pen I actually didn't have a pocket clip for, so this works perfectly. Slipping into here with this exact setup, it does not go anywhere. It's not moving. I'm not worried about it falling out with no pocket clip. It happens to fit in this little nook perfectly. If I put it in the middle, maybe it's not as tight. It creates an awkward shape as well. So slid off to the side, this whole thing becomes nice and flat on the bottom and sits in the pocket fairly nicely. So you see two buttons. I know you're very astute. I'm glad you noticed those buttons because this does unsnap. There's an inside, kind of like a wallet. <laughs> so we have two more pockets on hiding on the inside, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, the first one, again, you could put anything in these, but I happen to put in my little folding scissors. I love these things and I haven't used them very often because I forget I have them. This was deep in my uh, miscellaneous uh, drawer. So by the way, I didn't get these from Timu, but these are also on Timu for like 60 cents or 70 cents. 
uh, the gold ones. I think the silver ones are over a dollar because they're just more popular, but they have a gold one where the handles are gold and they have like a rose gold one. And those are literally like 50 cents, 60 cents, ridiculous prices. So I keep that in there. And then on the inside here, I keep a little $2 bill. Now this $2 bill is just for reference that you could stick money in here. You could probably put, you know, five, six bills in there. So if there were hundreds, five or 600 bucks, you can have hiding inside your organizer. Uh, to me, um, I'm just using this as a visual. I don't have a $20 bill right now, but that's my goal is to just get a 20, stick a 20 in here for emergencies. So when I'm out and about, doesn't matter what I'm doing. I don't have to be traveling or anything. Let's say I just run out of cash. I just want to buy some real quick. Oh no, my wallet's empty or I don't have enough. I got five bucks. I'm trying to buy something for $12. I can dip into the pocket organizer here and just grab my little hidden cash. It doesn't have to be much. It's just a little something, something. Or if you just generally don't want to carry cash, you use your cards, you use your phone to pay for things, you know, Apple Pay, that kind of stuff. It's still great to have a couple bills. If you keep one of each bill, maybe, you know, um, 100, a 50, a 20, right? A 10, a 5, a 1. You could fit that in that little pocket, fold it up nice. And uh, now you're kind of prepared for a lot of different purchases. So just saying, just a cool little uh, design here. Very interesting, though. Now, because it's unbuttons, you might think like, oh, maybe they could have done something in here. You could see this is taking up the room. The first thing I thought was the same thing, like, oh, well, since it opens, like, you know, put some more pockets. No, it wouldn't work. The whole thing would be like a roll, you know, it'd be like a, a tool roll or something. It'd be too ridiculous. The whole point is to try to keep this flat. All right. But yeah, fantastic. I mean, the quality is, is what it is. It's not falling apart. There's no loose threads anywhere. The, the stitching's fine. It's not, you know... It's totally fine. I mean, for $2, it's pretty amazing, I have to say. For $10.99, it's still good. If you like this particular design, they have different colors. This is obviously the, the gray on black. They have an all black one. They have some other colors, I think green or something. Um, they're cool. It's just a different design. Now, I'm swimming in pocket organizers, but I don't have anything quite like this. That's why I was interested. And again, that $2 price tag was a huge, huge sell. Even if it was like 6 or $7, I might have passed, but because it was $2, I wanted to check it out. And I love it. It's fantastic. This might be a go-to for a while. Um, the scissors are cool. Like this multi-tool doesn't have scissors on it. You can see this has a, a main blade. We have the bottle opener, can opener. You know, if you uh, integrate, obviously, scissors, you wouldn't need that. I have a pen blade in this one as well. All right, and then our toothpick and tweezers. So having those kind of larger bladed dedicated scissors it's just a really nice addition to this particular setup. So we can, whoop, I'm going to turn that on. So we can cut stuff, right? We could uh, open bottles, open cans. We can make things bright when it's dark. We can cut stuff with the scissors as well. Sometimes, you know, when you have a knife, you just want scissors instead. It just gives you a little more control on your cut. You use a knife to cut things all the time, but scissors do have their, their moments where they shine. We got some spare money in here, and uh, we're good to go. So, like I said, if you wanted to utilize this larger, oh, sorry, I totally forgot about the pen. We can also write stuff. Um, maybe, even on this flat part, I can put like a mini notebook or something. That might be kind of cool. I've seen those little tiny miniature notebooks. They have like four or five pages in it, lined paper or something. That might be able to slip in here and still be flat. That would be something I would add to this to go with the pen. But other than that, I can, you know, jot notes on my hand. I've done that before many times, just if I want to make a quick note. When I get home, I, oh yeah, there it is on my hand, and I wash my hand, I'm good to go. So anyway, this is pretty interesting. The uh, Cobus, Cobus, let's see, what are the legitimate pronunciations of this that are possible? Cosabate, Cosibate, Cosibate? I don't know, there's probably a million ways you could say that. Um, let's see, which one am I going to stick with here? I don't think it's Kosabate. That sounds a little a little too much, right? Kosabate. Uh, Kosabate. Kosibate. Maybe that. Maybe it's the, how you're saying it. Like, you know, what you're what you're uh, focusing on, really. Like, it could be Kosibate. 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 That sounds uh, that sounds pretty official. Kosibate. That's what I'm going to go with. All right. That's my official assumption of that. I know, I'm ridiculous. I can't pronounce anything. I barely know English, folks. All right, hang in there with me. I know you kind of get the gist of things, but I, you know, I'm just not great at pronouncing. Uh, you see, I can't even pronounce pronounce. So this is kind of veering off the tracks. I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, another win item for me from, from Timu. 
Um, we'll see. I mean, if they steal my credit card information, it's kind of a bummer. It's not worth the $2, you know, uh, EDC pouch. <laughs> but so far, so good. Knock on wood. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.